Today's the day. I'm gonna finally take a look what's inside my fishing box. I haven't been fishing in quite a while. It's been a busy couple months for me with school and all. And this box has been sitting all lonely, untouched. Pretty much forgot what's inside of it already. Uh, so we're gonna take a look. Uh, we have some big plans this year to go do some more fishing. Um, got some new watercraft, got some new uh, new places to explore, and so we're gonna see what we have in store here. Just to get a overview of what we got on the outside here, so we have a couple pockets. Uh, so here's some power bait. This stuff's pretty old, probably. Probably time to throw it over. Oh, well, it's still good actually. It's been sitting here for at least a year, so as long as it's closed, it's fine. Now, we have a lot of pockets here, which I like on this box. Got it at Walmart for like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, keep my fishing license in here sometime. Boater, education card. Here's a little catch card instruction seat. Definitely a pen. Gotta have a pen just in case. It's front pocket. Now I'm keeping some extra weights here. Uh, a couple sharpeners. Uh, sharp hooks are a priority. If you ever take a hook, once, when you catch a fish, take your hook, put it in the mouth, and just try to try to snag it in. It's actually really tough to get in. So if the hook is not sharp, it's uh, pretty much a waste. That's one. Okay, we got two rounds of extra line. This one's 12 pound test. This one's also 12. Actually, these aren't 12. These were 12, but I stopped using such heavy line. I actually. Um, this is six and this is eight pound test. I buy them off these big rolls. I buy them in big rolls because it's a lot cheaper. Whenever I use these uh, these flat line holders, I uh, reload them up with from the big reels, rolls because these fit a lot better in the bag than a thick, you know, couple inch thick roll. So these are nice and thin and hold in this bag as well. And there's a pocket right there specifically made for holding line of that size. Now here we have some extra plastics. People say the colors blend in after a while, but this has been sitting here for a year and all the colors are perfectly fine. That's all right. A uh, set of pliers. These are angled pliers. I like the angled pliers because oftentimes getting a, a hook out of a fish's mouth, the angle is a lot better to use. Just get it in there. These are Harbor Freight. Cheap. Marshmallows. Little one inch minnows. Gulp alive. I don't know. I've never actually used these things or had any success. So. All right, so, so let's get into the fun part inside of the box. All right, so I have them organized somewhat by what's inside of them. So inside this one, what are they called? Drop, I don't, I don't remember. Split shots, rarely use them. There's more split shots here. Here's some yarn. I use this for salmon fishing in the rivers. Um, black, pink, all sorts of colors, but I guess this is just whatever I have left after the season. This is like a trolling rig. It's got these flashes on it and these beads. I've never actually used this, but I tied it up. Um, yeah. Never used this. I don't know why it's in here. Another sharpener. Gotta have sharpeners. And a bobber. Uh, I keep some beads in here. Here's a already tied leader here with a small hook on here. Hooks of different sizes. Uh, I took this uh, like bobby pin, safety pin here. I just took all these little hooks, these little trout hooks, if you can see. Took all these little trout hooks and just uh, slipped them through the safety pin and locked them in. And that way, they're all on there. They don't get tangled. If I need one, I open it up, take one off, and that's it. No tangle, no mess. You don't have to stab yourself every time you use it either. So that's pretty cool. All right, this next box. This looks like mostly uh, jig bodies. Well, here's some more hooks. We have some more hooks. These hooks are made for uh, attaching uh, the plastic worms, big like Yamamoto's or whatever. Random different sizes of uh, these jig bodies. These are gonna be for like panfish, for small small plastics. Um, I think. I don't keep them in here. Well, there's a few small plastics in here. Something like this size, you know, you get different weights and sizes. Uh, I think I need a lighter rod though for these things. I remember I had trouble casting them. My rod's a little too thick for it. These white marabou jigs are killer. Just anywhere, I always have these. So pretty much in each box, I have one of these little drying pouches that I get out of like new shoes or whatever. Uh, this kind of helps to keep the hooks from rusting, especially 
you know, getting things wet in here and everything's metal and it's just closed. So this kind of helps take the water out of the, the air in here. And it's actually been working so far. I've had a lot less rust with this than without it. Um, here's some wedding rings. I got these for like 99 cents at a store that was a small fishing store that was just trying to get rid of them. Haven't used them yet. Bought these maybe like three, four years ago. Yeah. That's us fishermen though. We just buy stuff and keep it just in case, I guess. All oh, right, this is all the hard baits. Let's open her up. This so belongs in here too. So I kind of just put them in randomly. So, as you can see, let me zoom in here so you can see how I organize. I think this is just the best thing ever. Um, I learned this from a fellow fisherman. So you got all these hard hard baits here and all these hooks, especially on these Rapalos and these stick baits, you got just so many treble hooks everywhere and they get tangled so quickly. So what I do here is I just hang them on the edge of the plastic here. See the plastic dividers? See all of them are hanging up on the edge there. And even if they're next to each other like this, so once you close it, the lid is pressing down on them just ever so slightly because those hooks are so long, uh, they don't uh, actually can't get out, even if there's just a little gap there, you know. Take them, shake them around, open it back up, they're all where they belong. And the one came off a little bit there, but well, look at that. And then you need to, I say, I need this one, take it out, look at that, nothing comes with it. These two are a little bit tangled, all you do, a little twist here, and that's it, you got it out. No problems, and things aren't tangling, things aren't getting in a mess. Saves you so much time and so much energy out on the water. It doesn't look like I have any spoons. Oh, here's one spoon. Spoons I don't use too much. I use them for trout off the shore. It seems it's good at covering a lot of water. And this one's a rainbow trout powder and somehow catches trout for me. So, uh, little poppers. Uh, the issue I've come with poppers is they're very light. I have like two sizes of them. Um, I need to get a lighter rod. I feel like these should be heavier, like a lot heavier, because uh, it's it's really hard to cast these things with my rod and line. Anyway, hard baits in here. And the last box, it looks like this is all the soft plastics. Here we got some of these crappie tubes. Uh, plastic crawfish here. Now these are killer for bass. Some more plastic baits. I like double tails, they give a good action. These are pretty big, I don't, I don't think I catch very much on these big ones. Um, there's a flasher for trolling and I don't think I've ever used a flasher in fresh water, but you know, just in case, you know, if you've got some time to troll, that's a good, really good for attracting fish. Just some worms I keep in here. Um, I think maybe the bag ripped from them. I usually keep worms in the bags uh, just to keep them moist because they got little oils on them and stuff. Uh, so I keep them in the bags. Different sizes, different colors, good stuff. More plastic. And looks like that's it. So all this fits in my box. That's you know that's quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff. Anyway, that's my fishing box. I haven't opened it in a long time. I just wanted to see what was in there, kind of share with you guys. Uh, I used to do a lot of fishing. You know, lately I've been uh, lately I've been pretty busy, so haven't. But really want to do some more, and I want to bring you guys along with me. Uh, take videos. Uh, I like to sh keep it for myself to share with others. Hopefully we can expand that box. That's a pretty small box, you know, but it's on a student budget. I've been collecting all of those things over the last 10 years or so, you know, just slowly getting this and that and that, you know, hooks and pliers and, and baits of all sorts. And, you know, they last pretty long. Anyway, that's my box. I hope to see you on the next one.